What's going on YouTube? Uberman here. I wanted to do another video about Maestro. Um, I did one maybe a week and a half, maybe two weeks ago even, and it did very well. The video did very well, and a lot of you guys seem to really love this app. The people that actually got in, tried it out, and used it fell in love with it. So what is Maestro? I'm, I'm going to break it down for you really quick. Maestro is an app that automates Uber and Lyft. And in the future, it's going to do a whole lot more than just Uber and Lyft. It will be able to automate uh, Uber, Lyft, Grubhub, Postmates, etc., etc., etc. They plan on adding a lot more uh, on-demand services to their platform. What do I mean by, by automate? How does it automate? Because the systems are already pretty much automated, right? No, they're not. What, what happens is a lot of times for some of you drivers that are trying to maximize your productivity um, and your profitability, you will have your Lyft app running and your Uber app running simultaneously. And then what happens is you get a call from one and you have to look at the numbers and say, okay, this is 20 minutes away. Maybe I don't want to take it. Or, or it's five minutes away. Yeah, I want to take it. But then you see it's a, a, a customer with a two-star rating. And you're like, no, I don't want to take it. So, you know, it keeps you having to look and, and be interactive with the different apps. And then, of course, when you do accept a run, you have to turn off the other app. And don't forget because otherwise you'll be in the middle of a trip. And then you're going to get a run from Lyft when you have one already from Uber. And that can be a huge headache. And I know a lot of you people have experienced this. So let me tell you what this app does for you. This app gives you the option to set parameters. You can go in there and say, I am not going to accept a run that's over 10 minutes away. I am not going to accept a passenger with under three stars, period. And then what the app will do, it will let you run Uber and Lyft simultaneously. And when you get the first run from either one, it will pull it up and let me slow down. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm excited about this app because as it as it progresses, as it grows, it's going to turn into something a lot bigger. The drivers are going to wonder how they ever lived without. So please forgive me for getting ahead of myself here. Um, what happens is, all right, let's say you get a ping from Uber. The app is going to pop up on your screen just like it would with, uh, before you had it, right? It's going to pop up. It's going to say, hey, you've got a request for this run, but... Your parameters say that you wouldn't want to take it. But if you want to take it, just push the button. Now, if you're not interested, if you're absolutely not interested, interested in taking this run, you just sit back and don't do anything. And the app will automatically let it run out. It will let it, it, will let it time out, but it still gives you the option to accept it. Because let's say, for example, you wouldn't normally take this run. But right now, you're sitting in a five-time surge. So you're going to take it. Well, that's why the app gives you the option. It will never interfere with the way anything operates, okay, ever. It does not interfere with the way Uber or Lyft works at all. And with that being said, you also need to understand that, yes, this does affect your acceptance rating. If you see the app pops up and says, hey, we have a run here, but it's not one you would normally take, and you let it time out, it is exactly the same as if you had let it time out without using the app at all. It does affect your acceptance rating. So that's something I had a lot of questions about, and I hope that that clarifies that for you guys. Now, the, the great part, other than the fact that it lets you set parameters and it will automatically, let's say you, like I said, you don't want anybody um, with a, under a three star, and you don't want to pick anybody up that's over 10 minutes away. Great. When it does receive a run that says, hey, this person is five stars, and hey, this run is two minutes away, guess what? Automatically will accept it for you. Boom, it snatches it up. But what, what else does it do? It not only snatches up that run for you, it automatically shuts down the other app so that you don't get any ride requests while you're in it. Now, here's another thing. Some of you have the feature, the feature that's uh, basically stacked rides, right? Where uh, you can be on a trip, boom, you're going to get another one anyway. You know, another run comes in and it can be a real headache let me tell you what it does on stacked runs. It does the exact same thing. It monitors your parameters. And then you don't have to touch the phone. If it matches your parameters, then boom, it'll go ahead and accept that run for you. So your next ride is ready. If not, you can just let it time out and nothing will happen. So what this does is, number one, it makes the whole experience a lot more streamlined. The, the, the biggest reason for this app is to keep your eyes on the road, okay? So that you're not sitting there fiddling around with your phone. 
because you're driving. Now, I understand that it, it only takes a second to push a button or look down, but you'd be surprised at what can happen in that short amount of time. Disastrous things can occur when you're not paying attention to the road. So the, the, the main purpose of this app is to allow you to focus on driving and let it handle the tasks that would take your attention away from the road. Secondary to that, um, but probably just as important to you, is it will increase your profitability because it makes things autonomous. It makes things quicker. It makes things more streamlined. You can get other things done while the app is working for you. And I have already heard from several people that have been uh, beta testing this out in uh, California that they're seeing increases in their income up to three times what it was before they started using the app. So, and, and here's the other thing. What am I trying to sell you? Not, not a dang thing. Nothing. Doesn't cost you anything. And they haven't paid me anything either. So um, <laughs> I haven't gotten any sign-up bonuses. Nothing. This is a free app that is in beta testing, meaning you cannot go get it. You cannot go and download the app. You have to use my link. My link is in the description. The only link in the description of this video will take you directly to the page where you have to enter an authentication code. When you click on the link, it will take you to a page where there will be a box. Underneath my link in the description will be a code. You have to copy the code from the YouTube page, from my YouTube page underneath the link, copy that code, paste it into the box, and then it will give you access to the app. You cannot go to the Google Play Store and download it. Next, now I probably should have mentioned this first, and I apologize for this. As of right now, it is only, only available for Android. It is not available for iOS just yet, but yes, they are working on getting this done. I do not have an ETA for you on when it will be available, so I do apologize for not putting that first in the video. But uh, for you Android users, give this a try. It's not. It doesn't cost you anything. I'm not making anything off of it, so it's just one of these things where this is this is genuinely something amazing for drivers that I feel is a must-have. Um, and I think once you give it a try, you're going to wonder how you ever lived without it. So, with that being said, please understand this is a beta app, okay? And what that means is this is not a fully developed, ready-to-go, bug-free app. There could be issues. There could be crashes. Your job as a beta tester is if you run into a problem, you report it to the company. That's it. That's it. If you have an issue with it, boom, send it to the company. If you have an idea on a way to improve the app to make it better than it already is, send that to the company as well. That's all they want. They need your assistance in making the app perfect before it actually launches uh, mainstream. Um, so get in on this early and give it a try, and please come back and comment the video later, and you know, tell me, and I'm sure they'll see this video as well, they don't even know I'm making it. I'm making it at like 10 o'clock in the night. They have no idea I'm making this video. So comment below and let myself as well as them know what you think of the app and what you think could be done to make it a little bit better. Um, I guarantee you they will appreciate it and I appreciate you watching the video. Let me know how this goes, guys. I'm really excited about it. Until next time, like, comment, subscribe, be safe out there, and Uber on.